Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue and today is October the 16th, 2022. Time is going by so quickly. I have some news from bigcatrescue.org slash news and I'm thinking about not renewing this. This thing cost me $2,400 a year to have all of the news about big cats on the front page of our website and Paula Dreschler has been wonderful in making sure that it's curated for you so that you know it's only about big cats on the art page. But I don't know that anybody is actually reading these posts. So if you're not reading them and it's not serving any purpose, I may not renew it. Lions rescued from Ukraine arrive in Colorado. I don't know how they managed to do that so quickly, but bravo, Pat Craig and Wild Animal Sanctuary. A $1,150 reward for information on killing of a bobcat. And this was in uh, Whispering Bell Drive and Painted Hills Road. <sighs> I'm glad there's a reward. I'm just, I'm so sad that anybody would kill a beautiful bobcat. To me, there's no difference in shooting a bobcat and shooting somebody's pet cat. They're cats. Forest Department verifying claim of tiger sighting in Sinhagad Valley. USAG Presido of Monterey advises wildlife caution. I'm not sure what that's about. I haven't, <coughs> I haven't read all of these myself. I've been out there busy cleaning up from Hurricane Ian. That's why I got this big spot on my eye. That could have been a stick in my eye. Thankfully, it got my nose. And limb loppers. Yes, this was not a domestic fight with my spouse. This was limb loppers in the face from trying to cut up all of the branches from Hurricane Ian. Mountain lion sightings are up with more cameras out there. I've been telling people that for a long time. People say, there's more bobcats and more uh, cougars and Florida panthers and mountain lions and those last three are all the same cat but it's just that we're seeing them more because more people have surveillance cameras around their houses wildcats threatened by unrecognized risk of spillover disease five rescued romanian lions in new home at four paws lion rock big cat sanctuary community study sheds light on wildcat killings in brazil's central amazon and on each of these if you just click on the headline or on the picture it will take you to the full story maharashtra conflict tiger that killed 13 persons captured in gadchroli the improbable rise and savage fall of Siegfried and roy i read that this morning and it was so well written i mean they devoted way way too much time to talking about those two clowns but some of the things that the writer pointed out were just so, so perfect and so well said. It's definitely worth reading. Look, a curious caracal caught on candid camera near UCT. Lion walks with lion. Charles Oliveira strolls with a white lion ahead of UFC 280. Yeah, that shows me all I need to know about that guy. Not a fan. Animal populations experience average decline of almost 70% since 1970, report reveals. This was really well done. It was the World Wildlife Fund, and it was written in The Guardian, because U.S. papers don't care about these things. Saving lions together. Video of a Redwood City woman captures mountain lion dragging a giant buck in her driveway. Costa Rica wildlife meet the ocelot, one of my favorite cats. This is the most expensive cat breed in the world, and its price is eye-watering. Of course, what they gave you was a picture of a serval, and that's not what they're talking about. They're talking about savanna cats, which is a cross between a serval and a domestic cat. But <laughs> I was just asked recently by another state agency, is this a savanna cat or a serval? Because the people are saying it's a savanna cat, which is not regulated by state law, and it was a serval. And people are doing this all over the place. They're lying about what they have, or the breeders are lying to them when they sell them, because it's a whole lot easier to breed a serval than a savanna cat. So the servals would rather eat a domestic cat than breed with it. Big Cat Tales Photography Exhibition at the Gardens Valley. Viral video, man tries to pet lion cubs, see what happens next. I hope that cat just <laughs> sinks his teeth into that idiot's arm. Video, hiker warns others after bobcat encounter in Neff's Canyon. <sighs> it's the cat's home. You're wandering around inside the cat's home. Mountain lion sightings reported in Madison and Warren counties. Boy ate, almost mauled to death as cougar clamps his jaws around his head. The Conservation Game new documentary exposes big cats exploited on TV. This was by One Green Planet. Mountain lion greets Los Angeles family at their front door. 
this was, I don't know why they did this, but um, this was an article about Mickey the Cougar, and I was so glad to see that somebody rewrote everything from our website. <laughs> they just repurposed it all and made a new article, but it's a really good one. It's called After Long Suffering, Cougar is Finally Rescued, Tale of Mickey the Cougar. Money to Protect Monkeys, Ocelots, and Budget. Tiger on the Prowl in Bhopal University Campus Forest. Four Tiger Cubs Released in Bengal Safari. Yeah, in a cage, not in the wild. I was like, that can't have happened. That, just reading the headline, you can figure that one out. Norwegian, not the headline, but the first little blurb here. Norwegian diplomat shares video of bobcat jumping over a river in a single leap. I think I've seen that video and it's amazing. I've seen a couple of videos like that that are just, man, those cats can jump. Wildlife trade protections trashed by for-profit Asian zoos because they still are making them perform. Circuses and zoos now can hardly be torn apart, or torn apart, can hardly be. <laughs> it, clearly I have not been speaking for a while. I, I've been working and not talking to anybody. Um, it's hard to tell circuses and zoos apart now. I have a coordinator for a report from Lauren Grant. This is from 15 hours ago. She says, I am so sorry for the late Friday coordinator report, but I really wanted to thank those who came in and helped. Fred did the AM meds and supplements. Ryan and Susan F fed the big cats. Emma, Luke, and I fed the little cats. Susan and Emma cleaned most of the big cats while Luke, Kylie, and I cleaned the little cats. Ryan helped with cleaning after watching the tree workers cleaning the concrete fence line. Afton mowed around a bunch of the cages along the tour path during cleaning. Carol, can't spell my name. <laughs> Carol continued cleaning up branches from the tour path as well as trimming some shrubs and trees. After lunch, Kylie started working on food prep while Ryan helped Afton clean up Duchess Tiger's enclosure. Susan gave Luke an operant conditioning sign off and also got to work with her operant cats. Susan took care of the daily sickles and enrichment cats and did the PM supplements before heading out for the day. She's like here all the time. Afton finished the day with PM meds and the interns completed PM chores. Thank you for everyone's hard work on Friday. A cute picture of Gilligan, the Canada Lynx, and it looks like maybe Moses or Shiloh. Shiloh. I have one from 16 hours ago from Afton Tassler. This will be the, sec the last one that I do for today, even though there's several that I've missed. Saturday family fun. What a great group we had today. Amanda did AM and PM meds, and she took care of the rehab cats. McCunth, Kristen, Bree, Sarah D, Amanda, Nisha, Rich, and Angie all helped to feed the cats or accompany the feeders. Then Matt switched out with Nisha for cleaning. Jen came in at noon as our special guest to take care of the pressure washing in Zucari the Serval's enclosure. Meanwhile, I ended my work week with my favorite tiny kitten cleaning his en Mouser, cleaning his enclosure from top to bottom. He's not a kitten. He's just small, but well, smaller than most of our other cats. I was joined by Amanda, Bree, and Kristen to rake and pick up the leaves all around the outside of his enclosure where the other enclosure was taken down. They also brought in all of the big logs from Val's enclosure to the tour path for Victor Monday. Carol rocked out Carol rocked out? <laughs> I was not rocking, but okay. Carol rocked out on Val's roof in the front section so it can be repaired. Rich and Sarah D took the rest of the boards off the food prep windows. Thank you for that. Then they knocked out food prep so the cats can have breakfast. The boards just need to be put on top of the small freezer for safekeeping. Glad you mentioned that because I was thinking that when I saw them. Rich came by to help Kristen and I load the barrel from Mauser and help with the large branch on the tour path, and then we took everything to be dumped. Then he and Kristen took care of the popsicle and enrichment cats. Kristen ended the day by doing PM chores. Every single person on property worked so hard. Bravo to you all, and thank you very much. Great day. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of stuff done, and it's just been a whirlwind out here before Hurricane Ian getting ready for it and after cleaning up after it. But I was walking through yesterday and seeing that we're finally able to mow because it stopped raining every single day and things are starting to look nice. So I am a very happy cat. Stay cool cats and you can follow us on social media everywhere we are Big Cat Rescue.